Hi guys, I just thought I'd give my two cents worth on these rippers. We, I sort of talked about them the other day. Um, basically, the, we stock a Terra Lander and a Super Grubber. And the idea of what we do at home is in our autumn um, cultivation, we rip all our brassica crops, our, our chicory crops, rip them all, power harrow them, roll or drill them. But I think the key the, the key thing I want to express about these machines is in the spring, we basically, we don't use our plough anymore. I plough one paddock and five this year, um, but we use time in our cultivation process. So all our crops at home will spray with Roundup and then we'll graze the, with the dairy cows, you know, it's 2,700 cover, so we'd spray it, graze it with dairy cows, then we'd put the heifers in there to nip it off like a thousand sheep have been over it. Um, and then we try and give it about two weeks from spray to running rippers through. We basically rip it, and then we'll give it a couple of days to dry, we'll power harrow it, and then we'll roll or drill the brassicas or chicories and, and also fodder beets and maize, etc. like that. These very good in maize stubble too in the autumn, but the point I want to get across about the, what I think is the success of these is in the spring, if you plow a paddock, you basically, um, get two inches of rain, you've got massive puddles and issues of getting back on. Where I find at home, we rip the paddock, get two inches of rain, give it a day, we can be back in power harrowing it. So, although they're, they're destroying the structure of the, of the ground underneath, the water's getting away and we can really get back on the, on the ground to get the crops in in time. So, that's probably one of the main key ingredients I'd like to get across about how good these machines are. Um, is, is the ripping versus the ploughing on that primary cultivation. We, our plough basically stays in the shed. So if you're ever looking um, to buy a plough this year, I'd really seriously consider buying one of these first. And also, um, as a time thing, you can do two hectares an hour thereabouts, um, where for four far, five far plough, you know, you, you do a hectare an hour, and, and therefore, you know, obviously a lot quicker with that sort of 150 horsepower type application. These, some of these bigger machines um, can require a bit more, but the uh, Super Grubber, you can get away with 150. My one at home is very similar to this, and we're running a 145 uh, a CVX 1135, and I did two hectares last night. So, um, yeah, just an update on the rippers, and uh, maybe next week or so, we might just talk a bit more about the roller drills. And don't forget, CD Field Days next week, we're going to be there. Um, come and see the guys, they're lovely. Uh, bring your checkbook because they're going to love it and they've got something for you for sure. Thanks for watching.